daily scheduled massage. Oh, you're feeling quite tense today. In fact, you are hard as a rock, huh? Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of the Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. Last episode, we made our way into the first dungeon of the game, the Southern Ruins, and we made a new friend, Sally. And she's going to help us cross this chasm, or actually skip the chasm entirely and just ascend to the ceiling. I love you, Sally. Stay with me forever, please. As we continue deeper into the dungeon, I have to imagine Sally's power of ascension will continue to be a focal point. Uh, as well as these fine devils. Let's swap to something uh, a little bit more offensive that might doodle the dandy. There you go. Pop yourself. Actually, no, they burnt. Yeah, they look metallic. I guess they're sea urchins, so they're not metallic, but they look like they would be. What happens when Ignizel meets Ignizel? Oh, my Ignizel is stronger! <laughs> That's right, I fed him a bucket of gasoline this morning. He almost blew up. What is this now? A puzzle? Presumably? Maybe Try has something to say clearly. Oh, it's a prison! Oh, it's an elevator. But I guess what is an elevator if not... A mobile prison. Especially if the doors get locked. Ooh, Hate the idea of that. Anyways, this is the exact same location that we started the game off in. That was mentioned yesterday by Try. Oh, hey. Go burn them, please. Cook them inside their metallic suit. Make them the meat oven that they deserve to be. Very good. Cook them. Cook them quicker. Cook them, cook them quicker, please. You're not doing the cooking. The cooking isn't happening. Okay, it looks like we need to summon up Carrie so that they may bat. Oh, Carrie is not the winner here. Okay. Maybe, maybe Spear Moblin, perhaps? Can you hit them with your spear? Yep, that's working. Keep your distance now, Matthew. Very good. Three hits, still nothing. Matthew is ascending. What's he gonna do? Don't fall on the other side, otherwise you won't be able to hit him. Perfect job, Matthew. Let's learn how to create this fella. Looks particularly offensive. The Dark Nut. Oh, it's adorable. Ordinarily, Dark Nuts are heinous, and I guess this one still is in some capacity, but by golly, I'm glad to have him on our side. We shall call this Dark Nut Danielle. Danielle, Carrie, Matthew. Uh, who else are we missing? Sally. I guess these two. This is Ignatio, and this is Susan. Sally, Susan, Ignatio, Carrie, Matthew, and... Danielle, pleased to meet you. Come with me. Uh, apparently not that direction. Maybe that direction, I suppose. We probably just need to create something to help us ascend over it. So we'll do that right quickly. Yeah, look at that. I love these game mechanics. All right, ordinarily in Zelda games, number one, you can't jump. So you don't get that uh, level of vertical ascension. And number two, even on the ones you can jump, there's still like a finite sort of thing. And I'm referring to the ones that... You can jump with, like, Rock's Cape or something, right? Like the Oracle Games or the Minish Cap or something. You can jump, but you can't do anything beyond that. And now, what was the purpose of igniting this? Ignatio's having a grand old time, but I can't imagine that that's the end-all be-all. Um, let's call upon the services of Sally so that we might ascend here. Please and thank you. Will we be able to squeeze over the bolt? Mm, yes, we can! Barely. Now this, uh... Also looks like a job for Ignatio. Ignatio, touch this, please. I just love how you touch things. Go that way. Touch it. Oh, it's on fire! Perfect job, Ignatio. You are looking particularly hot today. You get it? You get it? It's because he's beautiful. And igniting that torch over there opened the passageway. However, I am keenly interested in seeing what the contents of... There's nothing. Okay, great. Who puts a bunch of crates and leaves them empty? That's terrible storage practices, all right? Dungeon master, whoever the dungeon master is. Let's save real quick, and... We could have gone to the right. I mean, it looks like it's cut off slightly. But now my curiosity is just pulsating and undulating in such an aggressive fashion that I have to retrace my steps, go back to where we crossed at the fork in the road. <sighs> oh, you get out of my way. You big... Friggin' swollen pumpkin. Not today, Satan. I am going back. Oh, now there's money? What is that? Someone heard me complaining. They're like, fine, all right. Brian, g get the rupees. Put the rupees in the crates. Okay, whatever. I can't believe it. But frankly, I don't need the rupees anyways, for I have a great many. Look at this. There's nothing here. Great. I could have just looked at that. But I didn't. 
And now, this is actually a blessing in disguise. It's just a silver lining. It affords me the opportunity to practice my skills of traversing this particular part of the dungeon. In case I need to get better at that, which I probably don't, but you know, if I did, I'm prepared. Uh, not Ignatio. Sally, please. Deliver upon me that exact lease. Now we can go up, and I think we are closing in on the tail end of this thing. Or at least this feels familiar to me. I don't know. That guy looks particularly strange. Why? Why do you have a shield? Clearly this is a puzzle. Now, will the powers of Matthew and his spear... Uh, oops. No, didn't mean, didn't mean to slay you. I want you to target that, Matthew. Get that. Matthew. Get that. Oh, God! I, I've killed Matthew. Matthew, get that. Get him. Uh, no. I mean... <laughs> Go! To that thing! Throw your spear at... What are you doing, Matthew? Why are you jumping? You're scaring me. That's too much jumping. It's too early to be jumping like that. No! I've plummeted. Okay. Am I not doing that correctly? Let me reference the documentation here. To target... Yeah, ZL, I'm targeting it. Hmm. Now, is... Something I can... No, I can't do anything with... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I could send Try over there? Yes! Pull this out. Gotcha. Okay, here I thought the idea was to be offensive. Lo and behold, the idea was just to be... I don't know. Devious and steal from the poor devil. Let's bring out Danielle! Come on! You can swing that axe and kill them eventually. You're kind of slow, Danielle. I don't mean that as a slight, but it's just the fact of life. And while you are powerful, being slow might get you killed. You know? Maybe it won't, though. The armor situation is actually going to be probably pretty helpful. Danielle! Get this one! Get him! He's brandishing a weapon at me! It's rude! Oh, poor Danielle. Poor Danielle's getting double teamed. Don't double Danielle! That's not going to go over very well with the authorities! Being me! I wish I could actually help more. <laughs> oh, thankfully I can just keep summoning Danielle's. Endlessly. I think that's the meta, actually, right there. Instead of just spawning the one Danielle and having them, you know, go through the cooldown phase of having to swing, just continually spawn. Because when they spawn right next to the enemy, they just attack immediately. Slap that thing. No, you don't want to do that? Okay, fine. This is now the final ascent. I wonder if there's going to be a boss. Or something. We fought Ganon up here? There's something. That's Link! Huh? Is that the person who fought the blue monster? It... It would appear to be so, but he's possessed! And very athletic. My god, that vertical leap, you should try out for the track and field team! My god, go to the Olympics. Who? You! Alright, Link. I think that it's time for me to summon Danielle on you. Danielle's gonna get you. With their infinite chops of your face. <laughs> yeah, you like them apples, huh, Link? You're getting slapped right up your face. Uh, spawned that, Daniel, a little further away than I needed to. Oh, he blocked it. Look at how he utilizes the shield. Amazing. He, he slayed that one. Get, get him right in the back. Right in the back. There we go. <laughs> you screwed him now, son. Get him again. Hit him right in his spleen. Stab him in the liver. More. Ow, that's my body. That's my body. I don't appreciate that. In fact, I should probably heal so that we don't have to die and use the fairy. Uh, we have the most grapes. I will eat one. Replenishing a half heart, but Link only did a half heart of damage, so... While that is a relatively precarious position to find myself in ordinarily, I think it'll be fine, all things considered. The boy's been slain. We've brought him all the pain, and now he will turn purple once again. Oh, he, he got a special maneuver, huh? Don't like that. No special maneuvers for you, buddy. Get you hit right in the back. Yeah, where am I? I'm over here, huh? Get him. Keep getting him. Keep getting him. Repeated, repeated getting of the him. Please and thank you. He requires it. He needs the punishment. He's too purple to be allowed to live. We've established purple is, is wicked. Have we done it? Have we cleansed his purple soul? It would appear so. As he dies... He disappears like Obi-Wan Kenobi, leaving behind only his weapon, but instead of a lightsaber, it's just a metallic saber. And it's mine. That was intense. He looked like the guy who helped you before, but this one wanted to hurt you. He was weird, like the imposters back at the castle. And this other guy that I saw in the alley earlier. Looks like he left something behind. 
Yeah, this something's a sword. Can I use this? If so, that's gonna be great. You got a mysterious sword. It's the weapon the swordsman in the green tunic had. The name Link is engraved upon it. I wonder if that's his name, huh? I feel a powerful energy coming from that sword. Even more powerful than the large rifts. Yeah, that sword has a special kind of power. So, yeah, Ray's sword. Look at that! <laughs> Zelda with a sword. Love to see it. I was a little bit worried she wouldn't get the opportunity to fight herself the entirety of the game. But now it looks like she does. Now, is this a transformation? Does this mean she can't create echoes in this form? Because she's definitely changed. See what I'm saying? There's like an a, ethereal sort of filter on her body. So what does this mean? You look strong, like that guy who wears green. Mysterious sword, raise your sword with up D to enter sword fighter form. Once transformed, you can attack with Y, therefore answering the question I had mere moments ago about whether or not I could channel echoes. While transformed, defend your shield by pressing and holding ZL. You can also jump higher than usual in this form with B. Finally, hold down Y to charge your sword, release force spin attack. Yeah, you can. Holy cow. Link's very athletic. Well, Zelda, excuse me, and wait, wait a second. Levels? What is this level thing in the top left? It's, it's depleting. I'm losing a level. That's not ordinarily the direction I'm used to going. The greater than sign. You got some energy. You feel a mysterious might growing within you. Uh, give me these things. I guess they're flying around. I'd like them. I don't know what they are, but by golly, if I can collect things, I'm just gonna do it. While in sword fighter form, the energy gauge in the upper left corner of the screen will decrease. You'll automatically exit sword fighter form after the energy gauge is depleted. You can also exit manually by pressing the same thing you pressed to get in. Refilling the gauge with those little... They, maybe they're cocked L's? I see now. I get the concept. So what happens, presumably then, is that we grow our level in the top left and then therefore extend the amount of time we're able to spend in that form. I see. Well, let's just harvest this. I don't know where it's coming from. What is like all over? Maybe not. Uh, what's up? Oh yeah, you want me to destroy the the big sticky icky? You know that gross stuff over there blocking the way? Maybe you can slice it with the sword. I guess. Oh, there's more. There's more. Come to me. If I just hang out here, will it continue to spawn? That sounds like a tedious sort of task, but it definitely is still continuing to spawn, and it probably would make some semblance of sense for me to acquire as much of it as possible. At the very least, I'd like to push the limits of the level. And see if we can push it to two. Which might do it with one more. Maybe one more. One more after this. Because we're definitely at the extent... Okay, we can't even exceed this meter. Perhaps, much like pieces of hearts, there are things that we need to accumulate in order to buff that gauge in some capacity. But hey! We'll learn that at a later date. As for now, I'm going to save what I do have and just take a quick peek. Are there any more? There are more. Just in case we want to, you know, use it again in the future. It would be hoove ourselves to have a full meter. All right, never go anywhere without a full meter or someone named Peter. Why Peter? It rhymed. I don't know why. Anyways, downward. Ooh, all the way down? Oh, wow. Okay. Three different levels here. What? Start up top, since that's probably the most difficult to get back to. And this looks like a job for Sally. Where are you at? Come here. Oh. You all right there? Thank you. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> You're like, perish. I need you to go over here, actually. Start creating web. Thank you. Very good. Now, chest for me. What'll it be? Open my eyes, and there I see... A ring? A pin. A heart pin. This hairpin has a distinctive heart design, makes hearts appear a little bit more often. What? You can equip different things that have a variety of benefits. Unequip these items from the plus menu. Amazing. Okay. So we're, our, our menu here is expanding, because initially it was just items and key items, and that's it. Of course, settings and stuff. Notebook, equipment. Heck yeah, equip it. I wonder what these stipulations are of equipment. Like, how much we can have at any one time. This is great! That's a whole new factor that I'm not used to Zelda games having. Of course, you had equipment in Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, but it was like, you know, generalized equipment, weapons, and the like. When I'm thinking of equipment, like, I don't know, for whatever reason, my mind goes to, like, Paper Mario where you had the badge system, and if we have something like that here with the pins... Oh, hot dog, banana on a stick? I think that's friggin' sick. I'm very excited to see where it goes from here. Onward and rightward is where I'm going from here, and downward too. I thought that slaying Link, or curing Link, or whatever the heck we did to Link's body back there would have been the... the good for the dungeon. But it doesn't seem like it has been. Now that I have Sally, too, we can we can kind of scope out the ceilings. Maybe there's going to be secrets later on. 
It would make sense just to poke around. We have a key door. We are... Well, we have two key doors, actually. <laughs> we are not done. Clearly, that's the boss room right there. So Link himself may yet come back again. Perhaps we only face to the... Oh, my God. This place is huge. Holy cow. I We looked at the map earlier, and it was just this. But clearly, it goes on and on. Okay. Um, does this mean we haven't been over here? No, we've been here, because this is where we went left, and then we went to this, and then I see. And then one, two floor. Okay. Okay, there's... Yeah, there is a lot of dungeon here. What is it, circling back? I'm gonna get... I'm gonna throw up. I'm getting dizzy. What's happening? <laughs> okay, anyways, focusing in on what we know we can access. We can go left here, as long as we push all the way left to get the chest. Uh, one of those two chests is going to be a key, undoubtedly. And then this one's probably the big key. So we'll work towards that direction here. And see just how far we can get. A Deku Baba. What's up, baby? That's some pretty intense music for a giant plant. Go ahead, Danielle. Slay it. Slay. Oh, slay. There you go. Now let me let me clone this thing. This is for me. Beautiful. It's markedly less toothly than I'm than I'm used to Baba's being. But hey, that's fine. Perhaps it's just an elderly Baba. All its teeth done fell out. Poor devil. So, lots of Babas here. Interesting. Now, it wants me to use the Link form. Clearly. But what if I didn't? Then I couldn't jump. Fine, I'll get up there and commit violence myself. I'm piggybacking this after an Undertale playthrough, so I'm, like, a little bit adverse to violence, believe it or not. I know that's hard to, hard to believe, given myself, and we'll get more used to it. Ha-ha! There we go. I just also don't want to waste my juice there. My sword juice is a finite resource that I'm going to have to be ever cognizant of if I want to do things uh, in, in a limitless fashion, you know? L far less limited than if I were to run out of it, if that makes sense. So, I think this is a puzzle for our friend. Yes, it is. Oh, I see. I see. You got gotcha. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I've played a Zelda game before. No. You... you Will it reset if we come back? Please reset. Okay, it did. I was there, though. That was... I was there. I was... It was, it was correct, I thought. Maybe it wasn't. There we go. Now it snaps into place. For whatever reason, I would expect that having, you know, 75% of the statue on the button would be good enough to press it. Maybe that button was just super friggin' sticky. Someone spilled some peanut butter. It's $50. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm a wealthy princess. I mean, I already was. I live in a friggin' castle, but now I'm wealthier. So that's cool. Presumably we'll buy some more stuff uh, when we get to a new shop. Oh, what's happening here? This is interesting, actually. Puzzle. We can pull on your face. Can I rip your head right off your butt? Wow, that was violent. Wow. <laughs> Oh, decapitating enemies. Yep, she's a people's princess. We love her. Very good. And here's our key. Yes, indeed. Knew it? How did I know it? It's amazing. Now we can exit, go back to the main chamber, and go to the right, where, of course, we already know that the chest in that leg or that wing of the building is going to house our master key, which is then going to provide ourselves with the boss itself. Uh, more Puzzles, more puzzles. Whatever should we do? I wonder. I wonder, should we perhaps put you here? Looks like you belong there. Yes, yes. Very good. <gasps> Very good! Zelda. Ever the puzzle champion. Uh, we cannot go up that way? I mean, we can get up there with the power of Sally, but the door is locked. I grab this. It didn't help. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Well, I guess I don't have any bottles, so you just, I gotta ingest you. We take this off. Does that do anything different? No, it doesn't. Okay. Can we move any of these guys? Will you? No, I guess that one does have a slightly uh, different shade of green tint to it. Which I suppose is meant to imply a unique sort of interactive capability. Hmm. Okay, well fine. Force my hand and my body. Why don't you? Not just the hand, but the whole darn thing connected to it down into the pit. Where I'm guessing we will have access to... Uh, well, where the heck are we? I don't even... I'm not gonna try and look at the map right now. I'm just gonna move. <laughs> Go this way. Oh, no! We've... We've... My... 
my lack of patience has scrutled my noodle. Thankfully, the game is forgiving. You don't actually take damage for that. Which is kind of wild, in my opinion. Not to say that I'm complaining, you know, for the game, like, keeping me alive. Like, please, game, I'm not... You know, I don't have that sort of interest. I need to beat Hurts, please. I'm not into that. But, you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, Zelda. There's one more thing you can do when using Bind. After binding yourself to something with X, try holding R. While holding R, your movements will follow what you are bound to. While using Bind, press and hold R to follow the movement of whatever you are bound to. So, what does that mean? Oh, no! Oh, God! I, why did you leave without me? <laughs> Fine. Well, I'm just gonna climb up here then, I guess. Oh. I'll see you later. So when it says bind with R, I don't. Maybe that means like when I'm on top of Matthew or something. I don't know. Either which way. We're just going upward a lot. So pressing R is not really doing anything different here. I could go down though. What's down here? Presumably nothing, huh? Well, golly gee, we're like my freaking curiosity. Yeah, nothing. Good. Just as I thought. I love... I love it when there's nothing. Spin! Spin your juices! Come on, Sally! <laughs> my god! We're on a deadline here. And... Ooh. What was that? I made, I made a... Th get off! Get off! Get off! Target zeal. Oh, I see. I don't need to do that. Uh, Grab here, Sally! Perfect! Jiminy Christmas. We made that a little bit more difficult than it needed to be. <laughs> uh, yes, very good, Sally. I just love how you spray web juice. Fan freaking fantastic. Onward and rightward. Oh, can we get there? Yes, we friggin' can. And then I wonder, to get that chest, is it going to be something like this? Uh, no. Oh, it's not. Come with me. Over there. No? Nothing there either? I see how it is. Uh, ooh, 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 no! Uh-uh, 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 not for me. Excuse me, I need to go back down. <laughs> that chest for me, okay? Uh, kitty, come on, Sally! Sally, oh, Sally. Oh, Sally. Oh, Sally, you are extra special. I didn't know you could phase through solid stone like that. How long were you planning on keeping this a secret from me? That's amazing. And immensely helpful, especially in this particular situation. Give me the chest. What is it? To my elation, it is twenty dollars. Excellent. I love money. I love monies. We have nearly two hundred rupees as well, so we are how you say <clears throat> balling. Now, let's do another puzzle. We need to get. Oh, I. Wonder, wonder, wonder. This is fun. This is going to incorporate the utilization of two different sort of techniques. One, we have to use the echo technique. Uh, can we make that jump? Let me just verify this. Mm, let me push it back this way. <laughs> we can make that jump, right? Assuredly. Perfect. So utilizing the echo technique as well as Tri's own little kind of scrutalin technique here. Uh, okay. Actually, not quite what I wanted. Let me just... Come on, now. Let me, let me get you closer. There we go. <laughs> I need you slightly closer. Uh, Get that little shadow, that little thing, right? You kidding me? No, still? There, Jiminy Christmas. Why you gotta be so picky? <laughs> oh, let me just... I got it, alright? I, I did the puzzle. And that's the door presumably on the upper ledge that was locked from the outside that I wanted to get inside, but unfortunately could not. Now, however, it all matters not because I got the big key. And it'll allow us inside the big door, and we'll see what it has in store. Again, like I said, probably the boss, even though I thought Link was, would be the boss. He clearly is now just the sub-boss, the mini-boss, the midway point through the dungeon. Let's utilize this real... Wait, oh, you can do the pin system. Jiminy Christmas. The pin system, again, like Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. Lots of similarities here. Things they're carrying over. Things that are becoming part of the greater Zelda meta. Fascinating to see in real time. I love it. Absolutely love how they're incorporating it, too, as well into these top-down style of games, which I hope do continue. Nobody's here? But I definitely sensed my friends in this spot earlier. Oh, they're here. I mean, something clearly is. The ground don't shake like this for nothing. Oh, God, it's the very Nintendo thing of two hands and a face. Come forth, you big beefer. You're looking particularly stoned today. 
<laughs> the seismic talus. Fascinating. What do I do here? My friends, they're in that creature. We've got to get them out of here. Come on, we can do this. All right there, Rocky Balboa. Can I grab you? Uh, let me grab your little butt ball here. Yeah. Uh, that thing looked grabbable, all right? You can't have a big, shiny booty like that and expect me not to grab it. Now, do I hit it? Do I hit it? Let me let me try hitting it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> your booty ball is mine, son. Let me pop out of this form because that's going away. Now, the meta I'm undoubtedly here to gather is that dodge and grab. Oh, I missed the shoulder ball. How could I? Maybe I was meant to. I don't know. I've grabbed the shoulder ball. Maybe I was meant to. I don't know. All right, come here, buddy. It's time for your daily scheduled massage. Oh, you're feeling quite tense today. In fact, you are hard as a rock, huh? <laughs> oh, he's pissed now. My massaging techniques never were refined. In fact, I'm not certified. Now, with it being on his head, I'd have to imagine this is going to be the final round before he is... Oh, God. Give me that. Give me the orb. Give me the orb. It's mine. You can't... Oh, he buffed me. You shan't be doing that, all right? When a young lady wants to grab your head ball, you're obligated to allow her. All right? It it's just rude otherwise. And who are you, huh? To deny me the princess. Give me that. Give me it now. Very good. Thank you, buddy. I will give you extra massage now for your sacrifices. <laughs> extra massage the ball! And then those then are all of the friends of Tri, I'd have to imagine. They look markedly smaller. Perhaps they will combine in some capacity to form larger ones like Tri. Or maybe Tri is just like the grand matriarch or something. The big one, so to speak. Yeah, clearly. Those bunch of little friends. No, they... Are they combining? Zelda, these are my friends. We set them free. They're filled with energy and ready to get to work. Oh, immediately you just rescue someone. And you're like, all right, break's over. Back on the clock. So now we can finally fix the rift here. Using our echo ability, we can restore the entire area that was swallowed up by the rift. Watch this. Okay. You're going to command them? Or are they all going to flow in to try? Because that would be actually kind of neat, and then also give us, like, a... I don't know, like a measured sort of thing to shoot for, right? Like, accumulate all of Tri's friends, and there's clearly, like, 47,000 of them in total, or something like that. I don't know. Either which way, we've done a good, just as we should. The forest returns with all of its wood. I'm feeling, well, pretty hood about that. Yeah, I feel like a gangster. <laughs> uh, the one one tree. Don't don't forget that one. All right, that's the one that has the that's the one that has the bee's nest in it. Beautiful. Well done, try. My friends shared some of their power with me. Oh, so this is what expands the level meter, huh? Level two. Boom. I le knew it. And try gets another triangle. Therefore, meaning we can summon more things at once. Of course, no more than one Danielle who required three. I feel like I can do even more now. Try gained a, a triangle. Press Y to create all sorts of echoes. That is that is true. We, we understand that. <laughs> oh yeah, they also told me something while we were fixing the rift. They said that big rock monster showed up and captured them. So when they weren't able to fix the rift because they were trapped inside the monster. That'll do it. I mean, frankly, I don't blame them. I've, I've tried to do things, you know, when you're trapped inside a monster, you can't do your laundry either. It's really difficult. Oh, and one other thing. There are these crystals that show up when we fix rifts. They're neat. So I'll give them to you. Boom shakalaka. That, in a way, it reminds me of the hilt of the sword. You got five unusual crystals from Try. And that... Ex wait. So th that... I don't understand. That just, like, boosted our, our thing. Like, filled up our, our thing. I thought our level went up. Did it not? I'm all finished here, so we can head out now if you're ready. Huh. I think we can leave from that spot. I think you're right. Uh... Unusual Crystal 5, quest log updated. Let's double check that. The Rift in the Forest put back in order after saving the friends. You can return to the normal world. Ah, uh, that's still... Still a quest, so to speak. Let's get ourselves our fifth heart container! Delicious. I just love having five of things. 
Except when I can have six of things, that's better. But we're going to work on getting six uh, next time. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it and hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you did, well, I'll see you then. <laughs>